Hi guys and welcome to my channel Karma Creativity. Today I'm going to be talking like a little bit about um, how I chose my like decor and things for my flat. Um, I have been posting recently all of my like room tours so to speak um, for each room um, so I will try and remember to link those down below if you haven't already seen them. But yeah if you enjoy these sort of interior style videos then please make sure to comment down below or subscribe and without further ado I'm just going to get right into it so the first sort of way I got a handle on what sort of decor and style that I wanted for um, our flat was preliminary searching on Pinterest that sounds really literate with all the P's um, and so I just like searched things that I'd like, found sort of styles that I'd like and I pinned them. So the sort of what I was going for was a very monochromatic like look with just like black, grey, white sort of with only very minimal touches of colour and I wanted quite a sort of minimalist sort of look to it whilst still being warm, cosy and homey and all that sort of things and things like that. So I pinned, um, obviously the pins that sort of worked with that and things that I liked the look of um, and put together um, mood boards for each room. So I found that like, I grouped the kitchen ones and things like that. Um, in terms of then moving from the mood board to the buying of like things like that um quite a lot of the stuff the big furniture items anyway we, i bought second hand so it was really important um to sort of like make sure that it worked with the um interior scheme i guess um but it was really important to me that it was second hand some of it because of the nicer price tag that comes with it um, so the way I sort of stuck to budget with that was all of the big sort of furniture items like our sofa and things like that I made sure that they fit not only with the space and were practical for what we were using them for um, and things like that but they were also um, not going to be like ridiculously expensive and cost too much so when you're Bearing all this in mind, I found it really, really useful to use um, one of the online tools that you can get on a website just for making floor plans. This way, like, you can input all of your measurements for your rooms and things like that and um, have a play around with different sizes of furniture. So if you find, like, a bed or something that you like the look of but you don't know if it's going to fit and work in the space, you can um, input the measurements for that specific bed, make a bed outline and sort of move it and drag it around the room to see how it would best fit and if it was too big or whether it would work and things like that. So I spent quite a lot of time doing things like that and just experimenting with different items of furniture and originally I was so attached to the whole like wanting a corner sofa just because I like the long bit for like lounging around on but the space in here it just was not practical so um and the other reason I wanted the corner sofa it was a specific one from Ikea was because it was a sofa bed as well as a corner sofa and the corner so the chaise long bit of it had loads of storage because storage is another key 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 like um factor that you've got to allocate for especially when you live in like a small space so um, I actually instead opted for a normal IKEA sofa bed that I got second hand this sofa was £40 and the condition of it was absolutely amazing I mean since then it has had built beer spilt all over it but um, it still looks fine um, and is in really good condition and the sofa bed is really comfortable and things like that as well and then in order for it to fit the whole like want for me to have a corner sofa I actually got a footstool as well now this footstool is a DFS footstool that I got second hand again for £20 um, and it's not the same colour it's a lighter grey but it actually works really well and I 
to be honest, you don't really even see the colour of it because I have like my rug that I was going to put on the floor but never got around to it so it's just always stayed on this footstool and I kind of like it on the footstool. Um, so it works really well, it was the same height, I made sure that like the measurements would fit, it wouldn't have been too big or too small and looked ridiculous. So it still sort of looks like I've got a corner sofa but I've got the storage that I would have had in the footstool and I've got the sofa bed so I haven't really compromised on anything other than the size of it and the cost significantly because these two together cost me £60 and the sofa that I was looking for was more like £400 new or £200 second hand so that was a humongous saving for something that actually works a lot better in the space um, so you've really got to bear that in mind as well. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I made these mood boards and had a look around for the bigger items, bearing in mind like what I'd essentially need first. So the, uh, the only items I actually really bought were the sofa, the footstool, the bed and a chest of drawers. Um, so our bed I got all together for £40, so I bought the bed by itself for £20 and then a mattress for £20 as well and the mattress was a brand new mattress um, that had literally not been taken out of its wrapping and so it's completely perfect. Um, however the bed was a really low bed um, but none of the, like I wanted like an ottoman bed that you could pull up to put stuff underneath but the pricings of those were just more like really like way more expensive than not and this one is one of those low beds so you, it's not actually torn enough for you to fit anything underneath so the way that I combated that was I just put some um, little like furniture feet legs on the bottom of it to make it that little bit higher so that I could use all of that space that was underneath rather than it going to waste um, and that is a big sort of area of storage there as well. Um, the next way I've sort of like managed to put extra storage in is through um, our, so in our kitchen, it's a really weird way around but we like the way that the chest of drawers matched the kitchen units as opposed to the unit that I already had. So I had one of the, like it was a fake one, but you know the IKEA Kallax, Kallax units that are all the squares. Originally I was going to put that next to the kitchen underneath the TV, but the chest of drawers that we got for our clothes, which is pretty much, yeah, I think that's the only piece of furniture in our whole flat that we bought new. Um, and the look of the drawers on my the mom chest of drawers is exactly the same as how the cupboards look in our kitchen. So it was really nice to have that cohesive um, look of the furniture in here. Um, so we put our chest of drawers in here with all our clothes in, in here. And then had the box unit, like I say the box, the square unit under the TV in there. In terms of other furniture and things like that, we got it really, really cheaply. All of the second-hand furniture that I found either came from the Facebook market or Gumtree and things like that, um, even down to our freezer. Obviously, we had the kitchen appliances mostly fitted, so like the oven and the fridge and that, but it didn't have a freezer, so I got a little mini freezer off of Gumtree, I think it was, for £20 as well, so that was really 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 inexpensive and then the bookcase that's got all Brad's stuff we got well we already had that sorry pardon me um, um so that was free and my box unit was free because I'd already got that the ottoman that I'd made in our bedroom was made out of tea chests two tea chests which cost me four pound each so that was eight pound so it's really inexpensive the unit that holds all my DIY supplies was five pound and then I made a door out of some free plywood that I got um, so yeah it's really 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 inexpensive I've used a lot of different things for storage in terms of making it fit as well so obviously I've got all my ottomans and things like that to shove stuff in but then we also had like a nice wasted space above our kitchen and I'd have loads of baskets so um, 
I just basically used those to fit the theme of what I wanted because I liked the natural wood look that some of the baskets had and the wood basket as well as the white painted ones and they worked really well together. Other than that it's basically just little little accessories which are mainly all white anyway but I painted a um, utensil pot that was like exactly what I wanted and just it's just making sure that when you're buying things and looking for accessories and things like that you're checking back in with your mood board and you're seeing like if it works with the vibe that you've got already and to be honest I think that the end result of buying mixed matched items from different shops that fit together and work together looks a heck of a lot better than just one set of like the same design of things because I think it looks like you've thought much more about what you're putting together um, and it just works better so that was how I sort of decorated and bought all the stuff for our house and our flat um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful to see like the tips that I used when making these purchases to make them worthwhile so that it wasn't like a waste of money um, if you did enjoy this video please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!